All right, folks, here's the last one of today. We are gonna be unboxing the Decimator 12G cross conversion from Decimator Design. So this box, this device is quite an expensive piece of kit. It is $500. Here is what it looks like on Amazon currently. Um, so you can see that device there. It does all sorts of different functions. This thing is the Swiss army knife of set life as far as converting goes, um, formats and up and down cross converting, what have you. That is an amazing feature, amazing set of uh, features that this device has. So I'm super excited to add it to my kit. I ended up buying it used, which I do for a lot of my bigger purchases. Um, I don't know if this is considered a big purchase, I guess to some people it would be. To me, it's kind of like in between, but it's one of those things I needed for a long time and ha kept pushing off. Um, but now it's here and now let's, let's go ahead and look at it a little closer. So as I look at the outside here, decimator.com, um, pretty standard stuff, barcodes or whatnot on the outside here. And um, it is that colored cardboard. So we have the decimator box itself, which is a nice heavy, all metal design, you get the punch punch buttons you're used to, lots of SDIs for ins and outs and that kind of stuff, which you can read about a little closer there. And then on the opposite side, we have HDMI in and out. Now, what's cool about this box is you can cross convert. So you can do um, one HDMI in and go to SDI out, or you can do an SDI in and do HDMI out at the same time. You can also change the format. So one could be HD, one could be 4K. Um, you can use the secondary out here for SDI as well. So you can basically go into one and out of the other, and you can up convert that signal, you can down convert that signal. There's a lot of, lot of features that you can do within this device. The thing is you got to know how to use it. And so there is a menu system and that kind of stuff. I believe there is some software for some programming, which we're not gonna get into in this one. One. Uh, but if that's something you need to look up, there is a website and there's probably a manual here as well. So I'm gonna set this uh, cross converter down to the socket for now and we'll come back to it. And then we have an HDMI cable which came with the kit. This is actually not even open, so that's pretty cool for a used kit here. And I'm gonna do what I usually do with, with uh, cables like this is I throw a cable tie on them to try to keep them organized and neat. I did want to mention that the HDMI heads had the plastic protectors on it. I went ahead and took those off. Uh, another great trick that I have learned about these uh, cable ties is you can cut the extra length as long as there's enough to wrap around it at least once. Um, and that will save you from doing those extra loops and make this process a little bit faster when it comes to that. So we can set that aside as well. So let's keep going through here. We have in this box, power and we have a bunch of different adapters. It is branded red like the rest of this device so you can clearly see what this is used for. Um, you do have some world plugs there which we'll skip over since um, I'm in the US and I don't need to worry about that thankfully. So we do have uh, the plug here. I guess I, need, I do need to grab, grab the US one but this does twist in which is great so you know that it's not going to disconnect. Ah. Awesome, it has a built in here. So if you need to adapt it, you can, but yeah, that's what that looks like. I'll set that aside as well. We have a mounting bracket, which allows you to connect to the mounting bracket holes, which are here. And that way you can mount it on something for a permanent install. And then we also have another USB cable. This is a mini, not a micro, a mini cable. So you can see that right there. Cool. And then finally, in this box, we have the operating manual. So this is gonna be a little bit more um, dense than what you would typically expect from a device. And the reason for that is because of all the functionality that it has for the up and down and cross converting and whatnot. So this is something that I'm gonna spend a little bit of time with to get used to and get to know. Uh, that way it's a little bit easier for me to function and manage this device when, it, when I'm on set and in a pinch and I need something to get done. I'm not trying to learn how to do it. I should know how to do it before I even get onto set. So I'm gonna leave this in the way on my desk. That way it forces me to look through this and learn the system. So that's pretty much it. That's all the pieces that we have here. Let me show you one more time in that overview, um, the different pieces that all come together. We have the device itself, we have power, we have an HDMI cable, we have a USB cable, and we have the world adapters here. So that's what all comes with the Decimator kit. The Decimator product line, and really the brand is known for its rugged, 
uh, high higher end switchers, um, adapters, and whatnot, um, DIs. So the, these devices are really solid, and I'm super looking forward to the re reliability of this hardware.